So we're going to move on to module three, which really is more of a power platform type module than a power pages module. So what we're going to do here is we're going to upload the student files. Now, if you've already done the regular power apps in a day and you have that configured and you're building your power pages site on top of that, this is a step that you don't really need to do. However, if you're starting from a fresh environment or you've not gone through that training, then not a problem. We're going to upload that solution. So here's how we're going to do it. First off, we're going to, in our Power Pages homepage, we're going to select solutions. And what we're seeing here is a list of solutions that have already been installed on our Power Platform environment. I'm going to choose import solution and I'm going to choose browse. And I'm going to select the student import.zip file that's part of the student package that you would have downloaded as part of this training. So once we choose that, we're going to select next and we're going to see here that we have a bunch of different settings. We don't really need to worry about too much else. We're going to hit import. And then what's going to happen is you're going to see these heading that's going to say currently importing pages in a day. This will take a few moments um, to upload. What it's doing, it's uploading a Power Platform Dataverse solution that has a Canvas app, a model-driven app, some table configurations, specifically that we're going to use in the next modules when building our Power Pages site. So now that we see the solution has been successfully imported, next thing we're going to do is just hit publish all customizations. And what that's just going to basically do is just make sure that solution we just imported is going to be active on our environment. So once our published, uh, once our published or customized, sorry, when our customizations are published, you'll see this band up here. All right, now that we've done this, what we need to do now is um, we're going to go into this pages in a day solution that we've created, and we're going to have to run a process to generate. Um, our data. So I'm going to go into apps and we are going to see a model driven app and a canvas app. So let's actually run the canvas app. Now this is going to ask you for permissions to use the Office 365 um, connector. This is because we do have some connections that's using that. We'll just uh, click allow. And then now we're into the Power App Studio. Now, if you remember from Power Apps in a day, you created this machine ordering app. And if you haven't taken that particular course, don't worry about it. This is strictly just a Canvas app that allows you to take orders of coffee machines. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to um, going to play that particular, and we're just going to quickly just go through and pick a couple things, um, do the comparison, and put in the approver and all the stuff, and submit the machine request. Let's do this for a few records, um, just so we can try a few different things. All we're really doing is just building some data here where we can, you know, use that in our particular Power Pages site that we're going to be building. So just uh, add a couple more here. Um, let's just pick this one. Looks good. Submit machine requests there. So we've added some data to the table and how we want to verify that is we're going to go into, we're going to close this and we're going to just go back don't really need to save any changes here. I don't believe anything um, changed that much. Again, I'm going to go into apps here and I'm going to run the machine model driven app. And we see here in the model driven app, we do have a listing of some of these orders. Let me just increase the size of this a little bit here. And again, we're getting these other messages. So we have the, some data in here that we can use as part of our Power Pages site. So the last thing we want to do is we're going to go back into our Power Pages homepage. Once again, let's edit our site. Now, because we are going to be editing some Dataverse tables, we're going to be doing that in the next module in our data workspace. What we do want to do is we're going to set the solution here. So basically, we're going to set in the pages of the day solution because any changes that we make to the table schemas to Dataverse forms, Dataverse lists, we want those to be part of that solution. So we've set that and that wraps up module number three and we're going to move on next to module number four.